Yo! Oh, what's up? What's up, dude? Man? How you doing, man? Doing well. Uh, we had a great trailer today, so pretty dude, excited. We're gonna have some good stuff. I just want to make sure everyone in the chat can hear you. You guys hear my man Joey? Let me know. Let me know. Yeah, what's up, everybody? All right, dude. Let me Hold just on. get some stuff set up here. Let me share this. Hey, thanks, my man. Well. I'm a proud supporter of the A Drive Army. A Drive did say he'd be having a, a subscription tournament if he did hit 10 million subscribers today. So, <laughs> if we could just get all of you, just ever, just get everybody. That's it. If 683 people subscribe right now, we will be hosting a tournament. Is that how it's gonna work? That is exactly how it's gonna work. Okay. Wait, they I... just don't know the tournaments at WBE. Hey, this weekend. <laughs> it is. What a plug. I'll be at it. What a plug. You, you... We told them, right? What's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm about to. Uh, yeah, no, we're good. We're good. we're good. We're good. All right, All right I'm, gonna, right I'm gonna switch my layout over real quick. Sounds uh, good. There we go. Cool. I just wanted to get uh, Sword and Shield up on the lay. Or, yeah, the new Sword and Shield stuff. I got, I got the, uh, you know, the Pokemon website up here. So we're looking at that right now, and I figured, you know, I got. So let me just let me just preface this. Right now, we're joined by Pokey in guys. If you don't know who Joey is, Joey is a tremendous battler. One of the Highest regarded battlers in the competitive <laughs> scene for Pokemon. Thank you. Uh, he does Let's Plays uh, and all that good stuff. We've done a series in the past. He's actually going to be joining me this weekend at my house in person. I'm so excited. I'm actually really excited to hang out. We've, but he, we've been trying to hang out for like four years. I know. He's coming to my house. We're going to do the draft stream this weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, this this actually feels... Oh, my God. I just realized that uh, Sonya is a trending topic on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't look at it. Oh man, that's hilarious. Um, do not, do not look at it, bro. Yeah, let me get a, let me get a command in the chat though for you. Hold up, let me, let me grab your, your YouTube. I'm gonna make a command for you right here. Why is it that I want to search PokeMMD? The second search like thing comes up is uh, PokeMMD Voldemort, dude. Like, what's up with that? <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on, let me see this. PokeMMD Voldemort. No, it's not Voldemort. I call him. Uh, here, I'll, I'll type it in the chat. <laughs> I call him Voldemort. Um. <laughs> oh, oh, I understand. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't know why that was like that showed up. So anyway, uh, Joey, guys, go subscribe to him. I just put his channel. I think it's just exclamation point poke game in the chat now. Should work. Yeah, yeah. Go subscribe to Joey right now. Um, but yeah, I figured we'd have Joey on. We'll talk to him a little bit about kind of Sword and Shield and kind of get the chat's thoughts. So we'll just chat for a few minutes, keep it casual. And uh, how was your lunch with Marlene? Hopefully, it was good. It was great. I made uh, quesadillas, so it was, hey. it was really good. Thank you. Thanks hey. for asking. I know what we're having for lunch on Sunday, dude. I'm ready. Ooh. <laughs> right. I'm excited. I'm excited to go. I'm literally, I'm, I'm actually legitimately excited to go over it. Like you said, we've been dude, wanting to hang out forever. We're going to have fun. Um, all right, dude, what was your what was your first thoughts and impressions, man? Today was crazy so far. It was it was such a cool trailer. I was I, I like I'm not like the super hype person, but I screamed. Like I was like, oh, that's so cool. Like legit. I first off, the game looked great. Like, I think that's the big thing, right? Like, it's, I love Let's Go playing through it casually. Um, and it's definitely a step up from that. I also love the fact that the Pokemon are in the overworld sprite. That was the, that was the best part about Let's Go for me, the immersion that came from that. So definitely that, like, that was the big thing that, and, and, and Corviknight too. Corviknight was literally the, Dude, I think that, the best that Pokemon. Thing looks Dude, another steel flying with most likely Roost. It's gonna be exactly. more offensive, right? It, it's gotta it, be more offensive. It, um, it, it has a higher. It, it's if it has zero IVs, right? Base 100 it has zero HP, IVs, right? It's more. It's a little bit more. Because I counted, um, I saw, I looked. It looked like it was about base 100. If it was, I think it was. If it's zero, I think it's 107. Because at level 60, it had 200. Yeah, 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 I have that pulled up right now. I looked at it. I opened up a calc. I was pulling my Joey earlier. <laughs> That's uh, the first thing I did. I was like, let me take a look at this. Uh, this HP set. Yeah. So this thing's looking like he's gonna have some bulk to him. Uh, maybe like Honchkrow like stats. Maybe something like that. Um, yeah, I can or, see that. Or it's just a better Skarm, like without hazards. I don't know. Like, honestly, dude, Steel Flying is absolutely fantastic. Like the two that come to mind, obviously Celesteela and Skarmory. They're both great at what they do. Skarmory defensively. Celesteela can do defensive roles and offensive roles. So this one, if it's defensive, Pressure is also such a good dude, ability. I have it highlighted on my screen right now, Pressure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a great ability on a, a fat mon because like you have limited ways of hitting it. For example, if, uh, if it's like behind a sub and it's actually quote unquote fast, uh, you can sub on Thunderbolts and you'll have half of them. So I'm excited. I, I This mod looks so threatening and I love that it has its own taxi service too. Dude, I love. Do you think that this Pokemon is uh, final evolution? 
Yeah. Yeah. And there's going to be like a smaller little, little Raven dude. Probably yeah. Either, the the either game. that, or this is a single stage. Yeah. Like, yeah. As it is. Yeah. Like a Drodagon type of deal. Right. Yeah. Because it definitely, it's HP, I think is too high. Uh, like, I don't think it's on the Chansey Blissey level, obviously, but I don't recall Pokemon that are that like legitimately that bulky and have an evolution after maybe why not but i don't think it's on that level it's yeah i um it's seven foot three as well which is ridiculous that's pretty big right that's pretty big i loved uh i love wulu here uh i love the fluffy ability coming on another pokemon <laughs> such a good po uh, ability uh unfortunately beware you know obviously isn't the most threatening competitive pokemon at speed stat lets it down a little bit but i think uh if it stays pure normal with fluffy that's a that's pretty solid um just giving it that massive defense boost like obviously you add the fire weakness but just giving it a massive like defensive buff to a Pokemon that's probably gonna have, we assume will evolve, and then it's just uh, like a ram, right? Like maybe like a ram type yeah, thing. Yeah, dude. You know, imagine the little hair, the little uh, <laughs> like the little hair things. It does have little horns sticking up. It yeah, does have so little that's horns. yeah, exactly. That's why I could see it being like a ram. Uh, I think being pure normal is really interesting. I was gonna make a, a video on it, but I'll probably just touch on the topic a little bit. Like, so in, in order for a normal type or any Pokemon to be good, specifically normal, they either have to have one um, a good secondary stab. So I think of like Megalopony, for instance, or like Diggersby, right? Because normal hits really good, but hits even better when you have, you know, fighting, ground, fire, whatever. This is this is confirmed. This is actually on the Pokemon thing. Um, and then secondly is um, they have to be really good at what they do. So like you take Chansey, for instance, right? And this goes, for, like I said, any Pokemon. But for this Mon to be good, because it kind of has that Furfro vibe for me. Yeah, where yeah, yeah. it does. 100%. It has a defense, but that doesn't mean it's going to be great, right? But... Fluffy combined with a Violite, if it has like a good HP stat and decent defense, it could be cool. Like a, like a cool lower tier pick. Yeah, I mean, it's, got th it's 13 pounds, bro. So it's the size <laughs> it's of a really fat cat. Um, yeah. <laughs> very cool, though. I think a lot of people really like Dreadnought in terms of a design. I was yes. very disappointed to see its typing, though. <laughs> yes, a hundred percent, a hundred percent, bro. I thought I thought it was like Dragon, dragon Rock, dude, Dragon yeah. Steel. I thought it was gonna be Dragon too, but someone brought this up in the chat earlier. So I guess uh, I think the term Dreadnought or something something else is the term for like a ship, like a, a okay. battleship or something. So they were saying that their thought is it's gonna be Water Steel, like Empoleon. Ooh. Um, which I thought was pretty, like a Dreadnought is like a battleship or something. Someone in the chat might be able to help us. Dreadnought, um, okay. Yeah, 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 it's like a battleship. So perhaps this dude will uh, evolve into like Water Steel, which obviously is a really good typing. Really good offensive, but what do you think what, what they're gonna do with Strong Jaw? You think they're gonna give it, because Water Rock right now, none of that has stab for Strong Jaw, right? There's only like eight moves boosted by Strong Jaw, and none of them are Water or Rock. Yeah, uh, do you think they're gonna make steel like a face, rock one? Steel tooth. <laughs> hey, steel tooth might work. What, do we have a bite type Iron Head? No, uh, we don't. But that would be sick though. Even if it was like seventy base power, chance to flinch or something exactly, like that, exactly, and then boosted exactly. by Strong Jaw, that could be really strong. And then a water one. There's a fan game called Solar Light Lunar Dark that has a, a move called Megalofang, and it's uh it's a water eighty base power water attack. Um, yeah. So the Dreadnought and was a predominant type of battleship in the early twentieth century. Uh, first of its kind, the Royal Navy's HMS Dreadnought. So it was actually the Royal Navy in the early 20th century. Uh, very interesting. Hey, what's up, Austin? Hold on. I just want to give a shout out to my man, Austin John Plays. Awesome guy. Uh, guys, go show him some love on YouTube if you haven't yet. I think you're closing on that big mill, man. I just want to say I'm really, really happy for you and, and proud of you, dude. And I hope life is going well. That's I know sick. You got a lot going on, dude. But uh, I hope you're doing awesome, Austin. Thumbs up to you, man. And yes, there is. Yeah, I, I brought that up earlier in my... Uh, reaction but the ui looks so clean right pokemon yes. can't go to one screen what are we gonna do if it goes to one screen i mean it it looks so clean dude it looks so clean simple just it looks really good in my opinion the the it's i what my my favorite thing about it is it actually focuses a lot on the pokemon itself right like that's the big thing like it's uh and and just the 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 fact that you could also move the camera too is so cool as well like going through, uh, not in the not in the battle itself. Obviously, we already know it's gonna spin around the entire time. But in general, uh, I feel like this game kind of has that open world feel almost. Yeah. Because you, you couple that with the fact that you can actually, you know, Pokemon will not be the same every single time. I think that's really cool. Like it's like a little, it's like its own little adventure. It's gonna be some good stuff, man. Uh, you have the press kit. I can send it to you. I don't. If you can send it to me, that'd be great. Um, not as cool as you, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So definitely gonna be interested to see that dude. Uh Gossifer and Eldegoss loving 
the uh, cotton down, which is basically gooey, right? So it's kind of like gooey. Yes. Uh, apparently that existed in Gen 7, but no Pokemon had it. Cotton down? That ability. Yeah, apparently I looked it up and it did say this was a Gen 7 ability, but no Pokemon had it. Wow. Okay. And then obviously Regenerator. So this is going to, it seems like it's more of a support type Pokemon. Yeah. Um, going to gonna be kind of kind of support in the squad, you know, maybe spreading some some status around, uh, you know. I wish I wish it was more than pure gla uh, grass. Cause like, I feel like the best uh, grass types right now are, uh, you know, part fairy, obviously, right? I think of Bulu. And then I also think of, like, like grass type with a secondary typing is so good. You got Ferrothorn, you got Bulu. I think Whimsicott's fantastic. This mound kind of reminded me of Whimsicott. And I thought that if Cotton Down, uh, activates on a substitute like let's say you go for sub and you leech seed something and a fire type pokemon hits you and cotton down activates right let's assume it just hits with any move because it just says when hit by an attack it doesn't say a special attack or physical attack you could probably sub seed down your opponent but i think it'd be more of like a, a cleric type pokemon um its head looks funny which i like about it like it's like a little dandelion so that'd be pretty fun sweet uh my man austin just hooked me up with the press kit so i'll drop that in here uh, some good stuff. So thank you, Austin, for sending this along, kind of giving us all the different PNGs and raw files of everything. Um, a lot of this stuff, yeah, I think pretty much all these are on Cerebi's website, or pretty darn close, but some pretty powerful stuff here. Like, that's a, this just goes to show how beautiful this game looks, man. Like, it looks so good. I guess I could actually, yeah, we can actually this, go through. This is, this is actual footage, right? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Here, we'll start. We got 95 images to go through, so let's see what we got here. So first one is uh, Corviknight here looking nice in HD. Uh, this is the bracelet that it seems that you need to Dynamax, which let's, let's okay. say we should talk about that for a second. Um, I, I, I know a lot of people seem to be kind of frustrated about it, but my thought here at this point is we're talking about three turns, once yeah. per battle, and only in important battles, the stadium battles, whatever, right? It's not it's not gonna be every battle. You're not gonna take on Bug Catcher Timmy on Route 1 and be done. <laughs> and and that'd be so, dude, he has a little area dose and you just uh, Dynamax your Charizard. Area dose, my, man, my man's out here with his Caterpie still. <laughs> so. I don't know why I evolved Spinarak, but <laughs> do, you, do you think, um, cause I asked this question on Twitter, do you think that Dynamaxing is going to replace both Z moves and Megas, because it's kind of like a combination of the both if you think about it, right? Yeah. It makes your Pokemon stronger, and it gives them buff powers for X amount of turns. Yeah, my gut says that, you know, I have a hard time. First of all, I don't think Z moves are gonna be in the game. Uh, yeah. I, I don't, I just don't at this point, at the very least to be post game, uh, or most rather. And I don't necessarily think that uh, at this point, I don't know, I, I just, I, I kind of feel like this could replace both Megas and, you know, um, yeah. at least, at least they Pokemon make special. Mega's post game, you know what I mean? Like, they're yeah. still in post game, but even then, uh, it just doesn't, it just doesn't seem, I don't know. Oh, that's a good point. So someone mentioned that there's no item UI here, but I don't think these are, this is a gym battle that we're looking at. I think yeah, that, that looks like battle spot. Yeah, this looks like online battle because there's a match time and a move time. So you wouldn't have health, you wouldn't have items anyway. I well, really hope items. that match time is, uh, is only for battle spot 3v3. You see that 20 minutes right there. Yeah, I don't, yeah. not. That does not work for... Oh, yeah, dude, that's right. The Let's Go Pikachu Eevee, you couldn't do 6v6 because of that, like... Yeah, yeah, it's it's very, very tough. Such Especially now we have items and things. Such a fit. Hopefully it's not like that. All right, so let's see what other what else we got here. We got Dreadnought in the press kit, looking fierce. Got the the new Pokemon, a couple of new Pokemon. You got your rival Hop, dude. My man hopping around. <laughs> Bro, why doesn't he have a score, buddy? <laughs> like, his name I is Hop. I said that, dude, in my reaction. I'm like, what is up with this guy? How does he not... How does he not have... You know, a score buddy sent out Sobble. I'm like, what's going on with this? You know, <laughs> like, what are you doing, dude? Like, that's crazy. Um, big, big fan of his outfit though. Like, I like his outfit more he's pretty, than. He's uh, got that black V. He he shops yeah. at the same store I do, apparently. <laughs> uh, we got this oh. nice castle here, looking fierce. Our trainer, I only like the beanie. I'll be real. Like, I'm not a big fan of the the fridge book bag and. You don't like his fridge rest. book bag, dude. Gotta keep bro like cool, come man. on man that's a long journey man we gotta get eight badges <laughs> hey, is your bag for pokemon go that big and, uh well you'll find out on saturday <laughs> yeah dude i got my fridge backpack um dan's about to be mad when i come home and send him a picture of me in the wbe bro <laughs> <laughs> i got it on my couch behind me man there's a pokeball in this screenshot if you guys can see that uh so you got a nice little pokeball in the wild there so that's kind of interesting you got a little little sheep on me uh, some nice, uh, nice footage. I, they've, they've clearly improved the graphics since the first trailer, which was nice. 
They should um, make a 3DS version, no, bro. They shouldn't, dude. We, we've been on that 3DS for too many years, too man. Many it's, years, it's, bro. it's time to move you on. You see this buddy right here? This buddy would be lagging if it was a 3DS, and it would only be two, <laughs> only be two pixels, dude. It's face and blood. That's it. Time to move bro, on. Bro, did they the didn't they even get rid of like 3D at, for Sun and Moon? I don't remember any yeah, 3D. Yeah, they aspect. did. They had it in X and Y. I just want to say this, all right? I'm gonna say unpopular opinion, but someone needs to say it. I'm gonna say it. Anyone who says that they don't want the game on the Switch, that just means they don't have a Switch themselves. Bro, you legitimately have five months to start your hustle. Go mow some lawns, go Uber drive, go do what you gotta do. You can get yourself a Switch, my man. It's possible. You have five months to do it. You need to save approximately 300 bucks in the five months. I believe it can be done. You can go do it. Put the hustle yeah, on. Get that grind going. Anyone who says that it should be on the 3DS doesn't have a Switch. And I'm sorry to say that because I get it. Not everyone can get a Switch. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just speaking the truth. I'm j and I'm tired of hearing this 3DS nonsense. The game lags. It's been lagging. All right. We're going to the Switch, baby. Let's move on with our lives. Now data console. It's time to go on. That's, That's it. it. That's we, it. The if game would not look like this if it was on the 3DS. I will do some Switch giveaways when we get closer for you guys. All right. So we'll have that. And again, you have five months to raise money for Nintendo Switch. You have five months. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee you, you could do chores. You could get your side hustle on. You could cut grass, like I said. You could, you could, you know, mulch someone's garden. You could figure it out. I'm just saying. It's 2019. It's the year of the side hustle. So, anyway. It definitely, it definitely could not look this way at all if it was on the 3DS. Come on, guys. Mm -mm. Come on. 3DS cannot handle it at all. Yo, did you see the new Rotom form, dude? Rotom cam? Yeah, right on, right on my, <laughs> right on my iPhone, bro. You see that? Yeah, dude, but you see the Rotom cam, too? Yeah, He's yeah. He's like a drone. The he just, like, bro, drones they, around. I really hope... Oh, I'm sorry if you hear that in the background. But I really hope that there's something that lets us use these outside of it. I think it would be so cool to use. I think Rotom should have a bunch of different appliances that we can actually use in battle, right? 100%. Why is it that we can only use five Rotom forms in battle? We literally have Rotom Pokedex. I think that'd be broken to battle with. I'll be real. That boy just be hitting <laughs> you with knowledge. He's got the knowledge of everything. That's what I'm talking about. He got the knowledge. And then we got Rotom iPhone, bro. That boy's always distracted. He'll probably <laughs> crash into you. Always confused. And then Rotom camera. Ooh. Catch you them off guard. See, I mean, maybe like Rotom. Prankster, like... got prankster, dude. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. Oh man, that's funny. Um, you got the different trainer character art. They look good. I think they look good. I know you're not I a think... fan. You you like his beanie, but they look good. I only like the beanie. I think that I honestly think Pokemon would have a ridiculous up if they let us customize from the get go everything. Right? Like obviously there has to be a limit because you know a lot of people could do some stupid things with it, but. I definitely think that there's a way to make customization to where you can't do anything too lewd or too offensive and, and do this. Like, first off, I don't like the haircut. Uh, I need a fade in the game. <laughs> but, yeah, you think our hat's removable this time or nah? I hope so. I mean, I love the beanie, though. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, that's my favorite part. But I feel like the girl also gets a lot more customization. I think yeah, in the Sun girls and Moon, always look better, dude. They always look yeah, better. Yeah, they do. There's look better. Yo, okay, thanks for the 60 bits. Just want to shout out Electrician for 23, Lighty for 3, Bray, thanks for the 4, Nopins, thanks for a year of sub love. You guys are awesome. Uh, yeah, female trainers looking good. Female trainer, dude, they always the look thing better. about the female trainer is, every single picture kind of looks like a different person, but with the male trainer, it just looks like he got tanner. Like, that's, like, that's it. Like, well, I think... His eye color changes, uh, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, I, f I feel it, though. Like, the girl actually looks like a different person. I don't know. Like, right. these guys could all be brothers. Uh, sad, it's okay, A Drive, keep doing your thing, but sadly, the Switch needs help. I understand you're not gonna call down your moneymaker, it's okay. The Switch has nothing to do with what I make, and I disagree. The Switch is a great console, dude. Like, I think its lineup could be improved, but why are you gonna bash the console? The console is one of the most innovative consoles out there. It's crushing it. Isn't it passing the PS4 in sales now on, in Japan? Like, I don't know. I, I just, I'm, I'm confused to how you could say that, but hey, dude, you're entitled to your opinion. Doesn't mean it's right, but, um,. We got the 65 here. You guys uh, saw the video. I posted a video about it. Shady posted a video about it. Talking about Oh, is that, um, is that like 65 means like the date and then yeah, the next six, one? Yeah, 65 and then the other dude has uh, has uh, eight, Like August 31st? Yeah, dude. 831. So uh, some pretty good stuff uh, right there. So Grookey level 15. They obviously didn't want to spoil its evolution. Eldegoss being level 19 I thought was pretty interesting. In the first gym battle, you're going to face level 19, dude. I thought that, that was pretty good um uh, this dude is really well he has like four pokemon but he's really under leveled and he's trying to take on a grass type with a weaker grass type bro i think i think this i think this trainer might drop this game yeah i don't think oh, he's but. got this eldegoss looking pretty powerful 
especially slowing some things down. You know he's about to go Dynamax, too. Uh, we got Gucci <laughs> eating this little citrus, dude, getting that 30% back up. Um, so Beautiful. He's, he's feeling good in that tree. Uh, Score Bunny. Obviously, we're headed towards the screenshot that no one wants to see, I think. Uh, it's not there yet, but here's Score Bunny level 6. Got that nice 22 oh. HP, so he's going to have probably base 45 HP, something like that. Uh, or a really bad IV stat. I do like the UI, though. It's so clean. Like, yeah. it's very basic, but very clean. I love it. I actually like it. It's not, it's it's like as simple as it could be, but I think it looks so clean. I think it, honestly, dude, it, it just, it, gets, it leaves a lot of space for the Pokemon itself, too, which I, I love a lot. Like, it, it's, it's beautiful. I'm, yeah. I'm a big fan of it. It's, it's a little upgrade, I think, from Let's Go. Yeah, I was going to show people, like, I don't even need a layout anymore. Like, that's my layout right there. I just put my face Yeah. Down. That's it. Who needs a layout? I'll put my face cam right here. Bitboss goes above it, and that's it. That's our layout for, for the next game. Like, for real. You know what I mean? Like, it could be it could be so simplified uh, just because of how clean it is. Uh, Sobble crying. I don't really know why. Uh, here's a really good shot of Gossifler, um, the pre-evolution of the, the other homie. Um, looks like a cool Pokemon. Nothing crazy. I mean, it's a nice little grass type, so... Looks really it. good in this image. A dark like mode to... would be sick, actually. That's a good point. Someone said a dark mode for the UI. Um, that could be kind of Ooh, cool. Pokemon dark mode. I like that. I like that. I think the probably the, my favorite thing from today was the fact that Pokemon are in the overworld again, dude. Biggest surprise. Uh, dude, dude, literally, like, I didn't expect it at all, but it's so cool. Dude, when I, when I saw Tyranitar walking around. Right? I got the Steelix, so dude? You saw the Steelix? Bro, the Steel and the Steelix looks so good, too. Oh it looks my God, so dude. good. They, the mods look clean. They're polished. They're polished it's for sure. It's going to be wild, dude. Like, overall Pokemon, I did, I will admit, I, I didn't think it was going to happen after those first trailers we saw. And I was pleasantly so blown away when I saw this. And it seems like there's going to be what I think is going to be some sort of shiny mechanic or a rare mechanic where you can find certain Pokemon Oh, like in the, the, like, the, dude the exclamation was like, point thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the dude, the dude did like something and like a stuffle ran up to him. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a couple different things going on. Yo, Kim, thank you for five months in tier three. You're absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Austin says, I think only uncommon or rare spawns will be in the overworld, not regular encounter table. I definitely think you're right in the sense that there's going to be some sort of difference there. Um, and I think that maybe the shiny Pokemon will pop up more frequently through the little exclamation point. I don't know. There's a couple different options uh, in terms of, you know, how we could look at different things, but um, we'll see. Um, all right, hold on. I just want to ban this kid because like I'm not about it. See you later, dude. Um, anyway, so we got uh, we got the Elder Goss here taking on a level 17 Diglett. Sorry, Diglett, but your life's over. Oh, this is when it showed its ability. So that's why I was thinking that its thing is uh, it's not just for physical attacks, like you know, or like contact moves, like uh, Sap Sipper and Gooey is, because Diglett typically goes for like magnitude or earthquake, right? I guess at level 17, maybe magnitude, unless it went for scratch. So if it is any attack lowers your speed, I think that has a lot, like, especially with sub, it has a lot I can do. Yeah, we got the Wulu here looking mad cute. Um, nice little shot of Corviknight. The graphics of this game just look so good. Level 60, this again, we broke down its HP stats. Somewhere around base 100, 110, somewhere in there. Yeah. Which is nice. Got the taxi. Beautiful. Again, we obviously knew we weren't going to have HMs. That would be really dumb, but nice to know that we're going to be able to... Uh, to just do ride Pokemon, and we saw that Rotom kind of integrates nicely with that. This, I just feel like this guy, aside, aside from the fact that his typing is annoying, um, he looks great. He though. looks great. He looks great. He looks absolutely great. Yeah. So what you're thinking is he might become like a giant boat? Yeah, dude. That's what I'm saying. We're talking about that battleship, dude. Like, he's about to be fierce. This guy's about to be fierce. Like, level 55 is also strange. Uh... Maybe, I don't know. But you know what? I bet if you go back to old Pokemon trailers, there's times where the Pokemon are higher levels, even though yeah. they have evolved forms. So I wouldn't I wouldn't write that off just yet. Maybe um, it's a trade evolution and that person doesn't have friends, so that's fine. That's it, man. That could be a thing. Uh, here's the bike. Your Rotom, your phone attaches to your bike in this game. And uh, I got to say, those, it, that tree texture does look pretty bad. Hopefully they update that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, dude, that tree texture is not looking too good compared to the rest of the game. But... The game, uh, the graphics are usually like the last thing they work on, so. Um, hey, maybe see. it's a pseudo widow, bro. Don't worry about it. Hey. It's, it's just fake. It's just the battle fake. stadium, oh. dude. I'm so ready to battle with this battle stadium, bro. Like, so good. It, oh, here's so, a Corviknight so, at, at level 50 at 166 HP, dude. Yeah, so like that's why it, that's why based uh that's why base like 103, 106, assuming it's zero, um, it, it, it's definitely like I think higher than base 100. Yeah. I think it, so I like I said I count 93 base HP as well, but Duncan was telling me that they're typically zero IVs. 
like they don't usually show anything so that's why i i figured like one yeah, this thing's looking six. dynamaxed <laughs> Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Dude, the, it looks like a Veltal. It's literally a Veltal's color right there. That's it. Yeah, that's actually true. So this is this is ideally battle spot. Massive Pikachu. Score bunny with <laughs> double kick, dude. It's time. It's not going to be firefighting, dude. <laughs> dude, it's going to be hilarious when it's firefighting. Dude. It's not going to be firefighting. <laughs> Litten learned double kick too. Yeah, and Litten's firefighting. <clears throat> Bro. <laughs> Bro, no, get out of here. <laughs> in in ultra space it is, dude. <laughs> yo, I can't wait for it. I can't wait for it to be firefighting, dude. Bro, Scorbunny's a, a football soccer player, bro. It makes sense that he learned double kick. It makes sense that he's gonna turn to that stab double kick though. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be stab. Get out of here. I really I mean people are saying it's uh it's it's uh, people are saying it's like uh pure fire, like when it fully evolves, but I would love fire steel or fire electric the most. Yeah, Fire Fairy. Fire Fairy, amazing. Play rough, dude. Oof, I like that. I like that a lot. Give it close. Give it close combat too. Wait, is that everything? Did I go through all the pictures already? There's no way that's ninety. Did no, you no. actually? No, it must have skipped some or something. There's a nice little score bunny running through some fire poop. <laughs> <laughs> got, the professor. got the Rotom phone, dude. I need me one of those. Bro, I would. I would actually buy a case like that. Yo, I bet you Luke to. about Luke Luke is about to do something with that. I got I got my uh, my A drive case, but I'm about to get the uh, the po the Rotom Dex case, the Rotom phone case, man. Yo, Leon, by the way, can we talk about how cool this guy looked? Yeah, really he, he's cool. Been, really cool. What a, a great champion. How much you want to bet champion. though? He's evil. What are the chances? Dude, no, man. Yeah, no. and his brother's like got to take him down. Has to do with the deal with the fact that his brother's evil. He's, okay, he's so secretly it, he's secretly being funded by the evil team. It makes sense because if you think about like football as a whole, um, when I say football, I'm talking soccer. Uh, a lot of it is rigged, right? A lot of a lot of sports in general, like that. So it, it makes sense. The dude is actually loved by everybody, so he has his persona. It could be like that. I mean, that's like a, but that's a state. That's a cliche, man. Is it though? Is it though? That's a plot that's twist. That's a cliche. That's not a plot twist. That's a cliche, man. It's a plot twist. It'd be a plot twist if he stays nice. A cliche is Nebby evolving into the legendary. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to my homie Butterfree, by the way. Making Butterfree an appearance. beautiful. Look at everything looks beautiful, man. Fist bump in your starter. Fist bump, firefighting. Let's go. Yeah, Lysander didn't start off as the bad guy either. Good point, Austin. Austin knows. What? He was always the bad guy. He was always... The way he talked, he sounded evil from the get-go. I didn't see it coming, man. I just saw the Doritos, man. That's all I saw. Yeah, okay. We got uh, the Diglett Shrine here. Ooh. We got the Diglett the Shrine. Looking good. Looking good. So are Dynamax like raid battles type thing? Kind of like the totem Pokemon? or? I think so, yeah. I think so. Um, I don't know how many friends I'm going to have, but I do a marathon every year, so we might be able to uh, might be able to team up with some people. You can, you can do this online too, though. <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, you go thankfully. online. That'll be good. That'll be good. Um... Hey, just Shout don't be the dude who brings Flygon, Golurk, or Meowstic to a battle versus Weavile. What was with that that squad, dude? That was a really Luckily, they had someone who brought Beware. Yeah, because that saved the day, man. What's with this uh, Steeny? So it doesn't seem like it has to be fully evolved because Steeny's here. Very interesting. Throwing that big beach ball at the Gyarados. <laughs> I don't know what this little window is. Is this like you're about to get destroyed? I don't know. But That's, That looks like a Meowstic using Reflect or, uh, or oh, Light Screen okay, or something. Yeah, that could be something. Okay, fair enough. I like uh, this Raichu's chance against the uh, Gyarados here. Ah, uh, yeah. Nice thunder. Somebody said the the Gyarados coming out uh, looks sort of like the beginning of Diamond and Pearl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yo, thank you, Payaso, for 30 months. And thank you, Heaven, for the uh, or Haven, for the 200 bits. Corviknight's just so good. There's some Bronzors in the back, though, looking nice. Chilling out. Max. I wish they showed more, more secret Pokemon besides the fat squirrel. Oh, the one in the shirt? Yeah. Yeah. T-Tar, there's not... your T-Tar, baby. Bro, the, so that's sick. the coolest thing. That is just a random Tyranitar walking around. Bro, please don't be at the end of the game. Please. I have just a let feeling, me get it at the gym I think three. the wild area, like my gut says that you access it after the first gym or after the first few gyms, but there's okay. going to be only certain areas you can get to at the beginning of the game. You know what I mean? So I'm going to be, I'm going to see across the lake a Tyranitar running around and I can't get to it. I'll be so sad, that's bro. That's it, man. Hey Zeus, thanks for the five, dude. Uh, yeah, we'll start Insurgents in the next few days, guys. I love this Seismitoad, too. Uh, yeah, that's the a, rain. Dude, these are great Pokemon. Yeah, sick. 
That's why I feel like it's gotta be post game, dude. There's a Milotic, a Mantic, and a Manti just flopping around, dude. Look at that Milotic while you're riding on your Rotom water bike, dude. <laughs> the best part is how the bike is, legitimately. It goes faster with electric power. You can. That's it. Bro, HM's actually obsolete. That's it. That's it. Why I'm would I need my that. Pokemon to work with me when I can just use my phone? <laughs> all the it, really, kids. It, it really says something about society where is milo's nose can we also talk about that for a second my man looking like look, ditto looking like krillin <laughs> oh this grookey is fired up man this grookey's fired up but i can't wait to see its uh its evolutions if what you guys are saying is true and i have to wait till august i'll be a little sad but i feel like at e3 though they'll show us a little bit of gameplay right yeah, I think at E3 we'll get something. Um, and that's, that's next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing I will mention is um, it looks like when you uh, die, what is it called? Dynam <laughs> Dynamax? Yeah. Uh, so Taunt and Growl turn into Max Guard. Uh, Razor Leaf turns into Max Overgrowth. And then Scratch turns into Max Strike. So it seems like there's one move for each type. Kind of like yeah. a Z move. Uh, so and, they have, and they have secondary effects too. Correct, yeah. So very interested to know i'm curious whether things like you know max sunny day is going to give you a speed boost like z moves did, you know what i mean uh yeah that carry over after uh after you dynamite dynam dynamax dynam dynamax <laughs> whatever it's called dude it's gonna take a while to get used to this but you can see he dynamaxes taunt turns into max guard grookey is a dark type confirmed uh, is max guard like protect yeah i think it's probably like protect yeah mm. i guess so um by the way, I mentioned a video on, on my channel that, you know, Score Bunny getting the fighting uh, double kick could allude to a fighting type. Not saying for sure. Grookey getting taunt could allude to dark type. Not saying for sure. Everyone's like, it's not going to be a dark type. We're like, I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying it's got taunt and it's a dark type move. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. We'll see. There's our, there's our beach ball. I want rock. I want rock. I want rock too. I, I, I've been I saying fire fairy, rock, grass, and uh, water dragon. That's what I've been saying. So. I'd be, dude, I'd be good with that too. I think, I think, uh, I, I really feel like fire, fire electric or fire steel makes a lot more, like for what Score Bunny is. I, I can't see fighting, man. Its name is Score Bunny. It's a bunny that scores, man. That's not a fighter. Nah, That's a it's runner. Scorch, Scorch Bunny, man. It, yeah, it, okay, it's Scorch Bunny, but it's also Score Bunny. Like it scores. It literally what it is. It has, it has a tape on its face too. And fighting uh, boxers uh, score points when they get knockouts, don't they? Stop it! Stop it! Stop <laughs> trying to make him. Why you keep trying to make him a fighting type, bro? I'm not trying to make him anything. I just I see the writing okay, on the wall. Okay, man. personally speaking, I don't care if it becomes a fire type. Like in competitive, it's gonna be better if it's fire fighting. But I understand people get upset. I, I, my gut says, why would they do another firefighting? It's such a meme at this point. Like, how could they do it again? They have to know. They know. They definitely know. I know. They can't. They can't. Gosh, this, this mod is too good. I love it, dude. Dreadnought, I think... To, I don't know if, if Dreadnought or Corviknight wins wins today for the design, but I really like this design. It's a great design, man. Pokemon's Rod running out of designs, guys! <laughs> like, for real. I feel like Cor Corviknight wins just based on typing alone, bro. Yeah, have you seen this shot though? You sure about that? Let me see. Look down his throat. See, see, that's a that's a thumbnail. That's a thumbnail. Hey, save me that. That's a thumbnail for a Wi-Fi <laughs> battle right there. That is a thumbnail. Joey, Joey's gonna upload a Wi-Fi battle, Pokemon Sword and Shield <laughs> tomorrow. Dreadnought Wi-Fi battle, and have this as the thumbnail, and you're gonna get some serious clicks on that one, man. I see you, Joey. I see you. <laughs> that's legitimately a thumbnail though. That's just do beautiful. A, just do a showdown live with all turtles and put this as the thumbnail dude that's it <laughs> Karakos, dreadnought's family you got caracasa you got you know blastoise you know i got a bunch of dislikes too i can't wait turtonator dude just throw him on there that's that i man. really i really hope they buff the old pokemon too but i'm i'm excited well, they for, did what it for we x see. and y right there was a handful yeah. of buffs Arbok, they, they, they've done it Bell. they've done it as well like they, they've done it repeatedly like yeah, they've, so they've done it for a while month. even if just like 10 base stats here or there you know like it, it will make a difference. Speed. Yeah, it'll make a huge difference. What do you think about our two legendaries here? Uh, what do you think of the rumor? I think it was Austin actually posted it that I saw first, but uh, Cyan, Magenta, and and Yellow being the primary colors, maybe hinting at our third uh, third kind of the trio. Makes sense. I feel like uh, if you scroll down just a little bit, that looks like Keldeo on the left and Solgaleo on the right. I right. do. I think they're. I think they're a little bit. Like if, no, if you like scroll down and just see the legs, like it looks like. Uh, like Caldeo. Oh, yeah, when yeah, I first yeah. came in, I was like, "Why? What's Caldeo doing here?" But yeah. um, I feel like they're personally a little bit over-designed. 
but I understand that they're armor, so it makes sense. Yeah. Pretty I, I, I like, I like they, Zamazenta uh, the most, I would say. I like Zamazenta when it when it does the full shield thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that good. that that light that lit up thing looked great. Yeah, I wonder if this sword is gonna be like if you can get the sword somehow. You know? I wonder if he has to chew with the sword in its mouth. Yeah, does like, it ever put it down? You think? It's like a toothpick. Zamazenta I, I, is a shield, whereas Zacian has to get a sword. You know, is he born with a sword? Like they say. I don't know, man. I you think it'll be babies or just standalone legendaries? Arceus just does his thing. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. I, there's got to be another one, though. Or they fuse For together sure. or something. No, it's know? it's 100% another one. Like, they were looking up at the trailer as well, as if something was something big was coming. Yeah, Dynamax, dude. <laughs> 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 that Dynamax Grookey's coming, dude. <laughs> that's not what they're... They're not scared of Grookey. I don't know. That's a big Grookey, dude. That's three turns. <laughs> <laughs> that's. I think that's a. I think that's how uh, certain things should have been as well. Like, Megas. Yeah. I think three turns. Uh, I, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, from a competitive perspective... Like, I'm sure these Dynamax Pokemon are going to be really strong, but, like, if you think of how good Megas are, like, if you could only do... I'm, I was trying to think of, the, like, the Draft League implications, right? And imagine going into a Draft League, you draft your whole team, and any mod in your team can Dynamax, and then you enter battle, and you you have a strategy knowing, like, all right, I might Dynamax this mod, or I might Dynamax this one, but your strategy could change as you're going through the battle. Yeah. And there may be an opportunity where you could set up, or you could have that extra power boost or defense boost or whatever through Dynamaxing could help you, like, pull off a sweep or something. Um, and your opponent might have to counter Dynamax just to get through that part so of the just battle. To defend, just to guard, yeah. I feel like it's... That's exactly how Let's Go was, wasn't it? Like, I, uh... When I... Wi-Fi... I mean, Megas weren't a key item. I mean, Megas were a key item. They weren't an item. So, like, yeah. when I was playing... I would start off the Wi-Fi battle. I'd be like, okay, well, Mega Pidgey has good here because he has Venusaur. But at the end of the day, maybe I Mega Evolve my Aerodactyl or my Kangaskhan because it would do a little bit better. Yeah. No. So, I like that. I think that it could add a unique uh, dynamic to a competitive, which... You know, from a draft league's perspective, could be really cool, but just in general, uh, could be really cool. So, um, I feel like it's either going to be really good or just really bad for competitive. Yeah, right. I, yeah. I don't think it's going to be like some in between because there definitely is some unpredictability there. Like the fact that you can fire off a 200 base power move is at any time is kind of already scary with a Zemo. Yeah. So, may hopefully, like I said, hopefully this takes both of them over. I think. It, it does though. I think it should because every Pokemon gets big, right? Every Pokemon can Dynamax, right? Is that's yeah. what we're thinking? Yep, yep. So, so like, what's the point of unique Megas anymore? Exactly. There doesn't need to be. I think that that's kind of where they're headed with it. But uh, if the Gigamax thing uh, in that leak is true, that could be very interesting. Certain Pokemon yeah. completely change forms when they Dynamax. Then yeah. that kind of opens up the door to say, okay, maybe maybe the Gigamax thing is the same thing as Dynamaxing, but. For some Pokemon, they change their their you know their typing yeah. or their stats or their ability or whatever. That could make things like super duper weird. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like Surf Fetched is the coolest thing out of that leak. I can't yeah. wait to see Surf Fetched. Yeah, Surf, dude. Do you think the leak is real? Uh, I'm, I'm iffy because it got taken down after the direct. So like in my mind, it might just be a promotion from Pokemon themselves, and they said some real things, and then they uh just sprinkled in a bunch of flavor after that but i want to believe it's real i think it's i want to believe it's real i, I want to believe it's real too much too many specifics in there and it seems like there was proof that the post was was made beforehand obviously and wasn't edited and stuff so um i actually had people who tweeted at me and said that they remember seeing the post like a two weeks ago but they yeah. thought it was fake because why would the rival's name be hop <laughs> that's not a terrible yeah <laughs> you know what i mean like what's up class what's up anthony how you guys doing today thank you zeus again for the five appreciate you guys hanging out if you don't know where i'm joined with uh pokegame md exclamation point pokegame in the chat go drop him a sub he's gonna be actually at my house on saturday and sunday for the wbe draft stream we're gonna be doing the live draft stream commentating uh to launch the hype of wbe so that'll be really fun so that'll be fun to kind of hop on a call today and just talk about some of the new sword and shield stuff while everyone's hyped about it uh, you can't yeah, log I, on to Eterna. Just uh, join the hub, dude. It's on the hub again for uh, Poke Ninja server. We put it back on the hub. So I appreciate you inviting me, man. Hey, we're going to have a good time. Um, Pokemon League. So you do your gym battles. I'm just looking through the website, seeing if there's anything I missed. Um, there was uh, there was something. 
<laughs> Bro, I don't, I don't think I'm joining this sort of shield marathon, guys. Dude, I don't I, even I, know what, what the, what the. I, is. I don't have 720 hours. Like, I can't, what, Dude, what are you on now? 1500. Dude, dude, 1500. No, you're. Well, it was 252 last time, right? Uh, 251. 251. All right, over 500 this next time, bro. That's it. Gotta double it. Whole whole month. Whole, honestly, guys, I don't think there's anybody who has A-Drive's work ethic out there on, in a Pokemon YouTube. I'll be real. I'm like, I, if I have a good work ethic, A-Drive has like an exempt. Like, it's 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 ridiculous how much work he puts in for that. You gotta do. And you gotta grind it yeah, out, man. I can't wait to see 500. Uh, <laughs> it won't be 500. 500, 502 <laughs> in my in my sub box. It's not gonna be 502. It's gonna be a thousand. Bro, bro, have you completed any of the Pokedexes, the uh, shiny dexes? Uh, nah. I'm, I'm like, there's gotta be a few of them that I'm like just a few mods off. I gotta basically fi look at them all and like add it all together and figure it all out at some point. Cause I kind of separated my Let's Go decks, but I'm gonna kind of put it together. I'm actually gonna count my Go Shinies now too, um, mm. because like you could transfer them, so they're all legit now, you know. Oh, so that that, that works then. Yeah. So. I I can't wait to see that uh that 30 minute video. Every shiny Pokemon ever reaction. For dude, Pokemon, that's yeah, it. Yeah, and uh, what year is it? Tw in 2019? Yeah, 2025, dude. I've been the biggest <laughs> Bro, you're not wrong. Anyone's ever seen. <laughs> Haven't you still been looking for a Charmander? I got it. I got it this morning. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. I, said, I feel like it's been like a week and a half. It was. That boy was eluding you. Hey, Anthony, thanks for the 150 bits. Thank you, Force, for the 100 bits as well. This is Sonia, who apparently is breaking the internet. She's still she a trending topic trending. on Twitter. Uh, Luckily, the stuff on Twitter is safe. Do not Google her. Just stay away. Um very interesting hold on i wanted to see what's this you uh, see this Sonya has seventy thousand tweets that's wild it's crazy that this like random character is legitimately trending on twitter this this character breaking the internet man um <laughs> y'all are wild <laughs> y'all are wild um anywho we got our man milo who's a buffed up bug catcher i was disappointed that he was not a bug catcher Oh, you know what's interesting though? Um, he has the 831 on his pants too. So, well, that's kind of interesting. It would be really cool if that was, an, if that's like, cause I'm not saying I don't uh, agree. So I mean, I think that Pokemon has done Easter eggs like that before. Um, I think that'd just be really cool if that ends up being true. But I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. I don't want to wait till, <laughs> till August. you know August 31st. I know. I know. Uh, Lodol, thank you for that Twitch Prime, dude. He has six Pokeballs, yeah, but in the trailer you see him battling, he only sends out two Pokemon. Yeah, he has so. like two. So he has like but two the level nineteen, Pokemon. level nineteen, so probably eighteen and nineteen or seventeen and nineteen. Which means there's gonna be quite a ways to go before you uh you battle him. I had the where was it? I had the uh the map pulled up before. Let's see if I can What I really it. hope is that it's the game really does focus a lot like I obviously it has a bunch of old Pokemon, which I'm okay with. There's you know, there's eight hundred plus Pokemon. But I really do hope that at least with the gym leaders and things like that, it really does focus on the new Pokemon. Like for X and Y, for instance, the Elite Four had like one or two new Pokemon, and then I remember someone had like a Rapidash or a Torkoal or something like that. I don't, I don't know what it was, but I, I really want the main focus to be on either new Pokemon or different forms of old Pokemon. Yeah, I feel like you. while playing through the game. I feel you. Um, yeah, Pirate. I made a video on the leak. It's on my YouTube channel. Uh, this is Pokemon Buffflies. Yep, exclamation point Pokemon in the chat. This is the Galar map here. Uh, you're gonna start at the bottom of the map where my mouse is. It seems like you're gonna take this train though and skip the wild area, I would guess. And you're gonna go Maybe right up like to the- shut off. Cause the grass gym is up here, I think, right? So you gotta take the train. You know what I'm saying? It seems like you're gonna go up to where my mouse is up here. Yeah. And then maybe hit this city. And then maybe they let you get some of the wild area and then you kind of come back out and you come back here later. Cause you're, you're, you gotta be taking this train through these mountains. To yeah. get up to the grass gym because we're, we're gonna assume the grass gym is the first gym obviously right level 19 i guess it could yes. be the second gym but that could be second because that does that does fit with like uh like brawly in uh in yeah. rby yeah so maybe like your that. first gym leader is actually down here there's this purple building uh maybe somewhere in the first town like kind of in the first area you got to your first gym but either way i definitely feel like you're gonna work your way up um you know work your way up through this train or through this you know kind of building area and then get up here towards where this grass gym is. It'd be, you know, relatively close to the beginning of the game. And then from there, I think you probably go to the city. Um, and then maybe you're just taking the train everywhere, dude. I don't know. You know what I mean? I, I really hope it's not like in uh, in XY where they shut off certain parts. But then in the next version, 
they didn't give us those parts you know what i mean like there's uh there was like i think a, it wasn't a power plant it was some there was something that was shut off that they never gave us I, I basically hope that we have access to the entire world right like in sun and moon for instance they had like something being built on one little part and we never oh, got yeah, that yeah, part yeah. ever yeah. yeah so i well, really want that, access was, things dude it was so dumb they made sun and moon and released sun and moon knowing that they were gonna have ultra sun and moon so they like purposely left stuff out i feel like ultra sun and moon should have been the first one and it would have been fine and then I from know. there we could have obviously done it but it is they, were, they it also is. they also rushed a lot too because like sun and moon wasn't supposed to have totems it was supposed to have or trials it was supposed to have gyms Yikes. like original so but yeah i i, I feel like if, if what you're saying is true with the train and whatnot it's probably gonna be like their standard oh they're pokemon blocking the way or yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever type of thing yeah the fossil restoration park that's another good point austin that could have been like a dinosaur like could have been like jurassic park dude like could have walked around and seen you know dinosaurs everywhere like fossil pokemon everywhere oh i would love a fossil game yo what if core uh what if uh dreadnought dreadnought is that his name uh what yeah. if dreadnought was a fossil pokemon i feel like they wouldn't reveal it i know i know but like i'm just throwing it out there like I don't think so either, but it's it's a rock. Like it's, if, it, it's if it is a fossil there. Pokemon, I'm hopeful that it still evolves. But I then think again, there's it, I think it's gonna evolve. I think it's gonna evolve. It looks like it them, evolves. Them showing it at level 55 though was kind of scary. Eh, maybe a little. Maybe. A but little. ideally, it's not like the Hydreigon thing where what is it level 63, 60, 64 yeah, to dude. evolve. Come on, man, it's already tough enough as oh, it is. Man. I do hope the level scaling is really good in this game though. It looks like it because I did see that person pull up with the Groki versus the level 19 uh, Mon. Yeah, so. but they, they kept that Groki at level 15 because they didn't want to evolve it at 16. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. They got to yeah. keep it secret until E3 <laughs> or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, Please just be next week. Is that E3 is next week, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, thir 13th, I think. All right, all right. 11th, so they'll have 13th, a. Yeah. Ideally, Treehouse they have a nice live. little tree house. Yeah, exactly. Bro, I would be so sad if they take forever. Like, we're definitely, if they do it, we're definitely going to see new Pokemon in Route 1 or 2 or whatever. But they're going to take forever to catch it, and then we're not going to see anything. I know. Well, it's because they, 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 like, know they have to go slow. You yeah, know I mean? like, yeah. Uh, we got to take 15 minutes in this Route 1 grass. They're like, all right, we're going to show off Route 1. And then they run in the grass. They find the one Pokemon they're supposed to find. And then they're just like, oh, I'm going to use Growl seven times. <laughs> <laughs> That's lower, by lowering its attack. You can catch a Pokemon. Uh, they oh, actually... my God. It's so bad, too, because those people who do that usually don't know the game that well. Yeah. So they're just like, uh, I don't know how to attack. And it's so frustrating watching someone who, like, doesn't play Pokemon play Pokemon. Let me try clicking scratch and see what ha Oh, damage. <laughs> damage, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I do think for sure there's going to be a Nintendo Switch bundle, guys. So a lot of people are pre-ordering this double pack. I see why. I'm just giving you guys the heads up. There's, like, a 99.9% .9 chance that there's going to be a Nintendo Switch bundle with sword and shield so just keep that in mind and I'll, i'm i'm personally gonna order that uh, i held off on the let's go switch because i wanted the sword and shield switch so yeah. well, i knew there would be i i assume there would be one this is a console seller my friends this is gonna be this, easily yeah easily. They're, they're gonna, they're gonna that, one, one thing you guys gotta realize this is gonna be huge for pokemon i've been in the pokemon community since 2010 right so i've witnessed the first nintendo uh, ds game right i've witnessed uh, the dsi game i've witnessed the first 3ds game right so this is the first new console this is the fact like we obviously had let's go which is big for pokemon in general but not as big at all this is a completely new generation so the, the community is going to grow it is going to grow and the switch is one, one of the best things i think they could do for it uh another thing to note is the if you pre-order the double thing it costs more than ordering both of them separately <laughs> so dang I don't know if that's what you want to do. Like I, I was looking that up. It was the same. It was same, if not more. So yeah, there was. So, it didn't really seem like a. Yeah, it's just. It's just more like a kind of a. You get the case, I guess, right? Like. You know the box. Yeah, which yeah. is what. Well, I mean, I'm downloading my game on my Switch. Yeah, I would say just. Yeah, I wanted to say I would just wait for pre-order bonuses personally, guys. But uh, I agree. I, I've. I saw the. Uh, so I started. I mean, I've been following Pokemon in the community since uh dude i remember being on serbia when i was like 12 and 13 so um <laughs> but i remember seeing oras come out that's when i started I, I started during the x and y days and i saw the hype train for sun and moon i saw the hype train for let's go i saw the hype train for ultra sun and moon and oras i think sword and shield is gonna is gonna take things to a whole nother level man it's gonna be it's gonna be really everybody cool. i agree it's gonna be really cool and like i just want to say to everyone who said that the pokemon community is dead over the last you know year 
dude, you have no idea what you're talking about, man. Alive and well, my friends. Alive and well. I, I've had views similar, if not more, than when I had at Oras, like right now. Like, it's insane. So, yeah. I don't know. People are hyped. I'm hyped. I, this game just, it looks breathtaking. Like, the graphics are amazing. I, I, I really feel like this is going to be a home run, man. I really do. I know yeah. it's still early. There's still a lot to see. I know there's some speculation, kind of some negative vibes towards the Dynamaxing. But I really think that this game is gonna be uh, it's gonna be pretty fire, man. Bro, I might I feel I might say greedy, sound greedy for saying this, but it gets me even more hyped for whatever they come out with after. You know what I mean? Like if this is something that already blew away my expectations, which it did in terms of like obviously it's like basic stuff, like camera motion and stuff, it's stuff we should have had in Pokemon, but you know, when you don't have something for so long, you get excited about actually getting it. So Dude, I'm Dude, imagine imagine uh, thank you, Cookie, by the way, for the hundred bits, man. Imagine uh, this game comes out 2019, and then 2020 they drop the Diamond Pro remakes on the Switch. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I, I feel like it's gonna be uh, Let's Go Johto first, and then so? Diamond Pro remakes. But here's yeah. here was my thought. I thought that they would do Diamond Pro remakes first to kind of do what they did with X and Y Oras, how the two were kind of tied together, mm. uh, and and like the two games are very like interconnected. That's kind of what my thought was, but we'll see. We'll see. So this you're thinking this might connect to Diamond Pro. Yeah, like in terms of just like. In terms of the two games, the mechanics being similar, uh, you know, in Sinnoh they get these big stadiums too now. That's you know true. what I mean? Like they they kind of they kind of change it up in Sinnoh and they have these massive stadiums that have the same mechanics. You know what I mean? All right, I'm I mean, dude, I'm all for Diamond Diamond. If it wasn't for Diamond and Pearl, I don't think the Pokemon community would exist. That, it yeah, that was yeah. it actually it started it it started the Wi-Fi community. That's true. Way back in the day, dude. Like that's the game that we gotta pay. Shoddy battle. Pokemon Online, dude. <laughs> was there anything before that? I, I remember Shoddy Battle. I remember Pokemon Online. Uh, it was Net Battle, then Shoddy Battle, then uh, then it was also Pokemon something. Shoddy Battle 2, which had a different name, and then PO, and then Pokemon Shutout. I was on all of those, boy. Yeah, like, I remember I remember Shoddy. I remember Pokemon Online. I don't think I did Net Battle, but maybe I did, not I just don't remember. But I definitely remember the Shoddy Battle days, dude. I think I have I have videos on my channel of Shoddy Battle, I think. Like That's way, way back, dude. I have some too. Or maybe but, it was oh, PO, whoops. but one of the two, right? Like I mean either way, PO was a ridiculously good upgrade from Shoddy Battle. Shoddy Battle was a text. It was literally reading text while you're playing. And then there's Pokemon pictures in front. Net battle was even worse. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Uh let's see here. Look at the first town. The bottom has a forest, early game forest, there's a pathway going to it. You make that way up the map. Yeah, that'd be fire too. Let me see if I can pull up the map again. Um, oh, you're saying this little forest that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you on that. I see you on that. Yeah, I need them early game bug types, dude. So you're saying you kind of. I mean, you're always gonna get your bug type. Dude, they gotta, they gotta like, if they do the X and Y treatment, and only give me one. What am I gonna do, Joey? If I just get a Vivian, dude, like, what am I gonna do? Bro, listen. I need listen. a bug dragon. I need a bug ice, bro. Listen, like, just catch them all. I do, just catch, bro. Just catch, I, no, catch six of the same Pokemon and look. <laughs> Bro, you catch, you catch, you know, Caterboo, and then you keep one Caterboo, and then you evolve, you get another Caterboo. I get a, I get a Metaboo. You, yeah, you get a Metaboo, and exactly. Then a Butterboo, yeah, I feel you. Exactly, a Butterboo, and then you got two more Butterboos after that, and you keep that last slide open as anything that can help you win the game, because you're going to lose the game with the Caterboo, Metaboo. Nah, and, dude, don't and butter. sleep on Butterboo, dude. Like, <laughs> and, uh, bro, I mean, if you want, you can pick up that Butterfree, you know, I'm that's get a that free. Butterboo, dude. Hey, if I could, we saw Grubbin. We saw Grubbin and Butterfree so far. This is really the bugs that we've seen. There's hope, man. There's hope. That's Cavalier's got to be in this game somewhere, right? For sure. It's a steel-made thing. Yeah, dude. I'm excited for London at the back here, all the way at the top of the map. Battle Frontier, dude. It's time. Bro, I wouldn't mind. Honestly, I feel like Pokemon... There is definitely there. There's definitely options for longevity. For like, there's things you can do out of it, right? I like post game, right? You can shiny hunt. That's a big thing, um, especially for this community. I know that. Uh, and Battle Frontier, I thought was always cool too. I would love additional story. I, I would love DLC. Um, DLC. I might, I might be in the minority with that, but I would love. I would not mind paying five bucks for an extra six hours of story. Yeah, dude, for sure. Like, even if it included, like, ways to get mythicals or... That's what I'm saying. You know, all sorts of stuff, like... You know. Bro, what, what happened to the mythical events? I know. What happened to the little cutscene stuff? Dude, Bro, you gotta I, go to GameStop I, and get a code and pick it up at the Pokemon Center. Okay, I mean, like, in, in 2010, I went to I went to uh, Toys R Us and I got my Regigigas, right? But also, when I got Victini for black and white 
one, I think it might have been. It might have been black and white too. I feel like it was black and white one. When I got to the Victini event, I sailed to this island. There was this little cutscene. There was like little things going on, right? So I miss that. I don't want to just download my Pokemon. Yeah, Liberty Island or whatever, right? Yeah. Back in the day. Dude. Good times, man. Hopefully they uh, they learn from that instead of their dumb partnership with GameStop or whatever it is. So stupid, dude. <laughs> well, I, it's so dumb. Like, let me go. Too. Yeah, let me go <laughs> pick up this code at the GameStop. Get harassed because I didn't buy anything, and then come home, pop it in, go to the Pokemon Center, talk to some random guy who just happens to have a mythical Pokemon in his pocket waiting for me. Like, that's immersion, dude. No thanks. <laughs> Man, I hate GameStop too. I know if that's anybody that works at GameStop, but no, I bought a game. Offense, <laughs> I bought a game for sixty. I returned it the next day, and they gave me uh, thirty-two for it. So. That's a good deal, dude. That's you're lucky, man. You're lucky. Normally, you get like seven dollars. So yeah, you do. No, no. Trust me, I know. I brought in like I brought in the consoles and stuff, and I've gotten twenty bucks, but I had to sell them because I needed to take a Marlene on a date. It was back in the day. It was a struggle. Oof. Um, someone just said. Uh, thanks for the five bits. Says that there might be a chipmunk type Pokemon that was shown in the trailer. Yeah, someone sent me a screenshot of that earlier. I did talk about that, but let me pull that up on the screen here, guys, in a second, and I'll show you guys. Uh, oh, the Professor's Cane might hit a pre evolution for Corviknight. It's very interesting Ooh. as well. Let me pull that up on the screen. Uh, let me see here if I could get you guys a screenshot of that bad boy so you guys can see what's going on here. That's actually a really good point. I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw that up on the screen here, guys, in a second. Let's see here. Wham, bam. Uh, there's the Professor's Cane, looking like it could be something to do with Corviknight, obviously. Um, not sure how you guys feel about that, but I thought that was that's pretty interesting. Um, I don't think that's I don't think that's a pre-evolution. That just looks like the Corviknight itself. Yeah, that, that, that's the thing too. Let me see if I can find that screenshot. Oh, here it is. This is the person who sent me this earlier. And it does look like it could be a new Pokemon, like for real, for sure. I agree. I'll show you guys. Uh, let me do drag this window down here. Bam. Okay. Uh, how much can I zoom? All right. Yeah, this is about as good as it goes. So if you look next to Munchlax, this is from the the crowd. What is that Pokemon next to Munchlax? Between Munchlax and Riolu, like that most it's certainly. A, it's an Alolan Raticate that they stretched out. That's it, dude. That looks like that, a little squirrel. That definitely looks like a chipmunk squirrel type thing. Yeah, that's definitely a new Pokemon. Um, I'm assuming, right? Like, we could assume. Yeah, Junior, they did, four. They did talk four. about in, like, some leak. Yeah, chipmunk. That there was, uh... They did talk about it in some leak that there was a chipmunk type yeah. of thing. And then, obviously, the shirts. Uh, that guy's shirt has, like, what looks like a Pokemon on it. So... Yeah, I mean, definitely some possibilities there. Uh, would e Wulu, Eviolite, Cotton Guard, and LC... <laughs> right, you're a little ahead of the game here. Let's let's see Woo. what happens. Hey, hey, real talk. Little Cup is the first meta that's developed besides Ubers. Like, if you think about it, those are the only two meta games that are actually developed because we have them. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, Playground, dude. Play Gatata, dude. Uh, passing the Bebonic Plague around. But yeah, that could be a new Pokemon. <laughs> this little dude, for sure. This little guy right here. I don't know, man. I love that dude. Little. That that's, that has to be a new Pokemon. Yeah. Unless Shiny Pachirisu now has, like, a black coat. I don't think so, dude. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this is a, uh, a brand new Pokemon here, guys. Which, uh, you, you heard it here first! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. But definitely pretty interesting. We'll see. Um, anything else you guys think that we didn't cover? I mean, we, I feel like we pretty much covered all there is to cover right now. Do you um, think Korokoro is going to give us some new information this month? Nah. Nah. I don't think so at all. It'll be the same stuff. Maybe, uh, maybe one new maybe thing, but I don't think so. Because my my kind of understanding was, if I remember correctly, leading up to Ultra Sun and Moon, they, they started releasing, like, trailers before Coral Coral leaked because they knew it was going to leak, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So... Well, if that's the case, uh, Coral Coral did say this month they'd actually be having new Pokemon information. So it's probably going to be, like you said, this stuff. But I do feel like they might talk about the, like, the squirrel and stuff. Like, Korokoro always did things like that. Like, they showed Kamala before it came out. That's true. Yeah, I guess we'll see, man. I guess we'll see. Anything's possible, team. Kamala is the log, by the way. Just letting everybody know. It's, yeah, it's not the it's not the koala. It's the log. It's the log. The shiny proves that, too. Like, only the, Literally. Only the log changes colors, so. Like, his shiny form is he finds a new log? No, it's him. He just has a koala skin. That's it. It's like, it's like, uh, Wobbuffet, right? Like, Wobbuffet's actually the tail. The tail. The tail. Thank you. 
I'm glad we're on the same page with this, bro. People know, man. When you've been doing Pokemon this long, you know. Bro, you know how I know AJ is on the same page as me? When when he was randomizing the draft order, the first thing he typed to me was the exact same thing I typed to him. All right, so you go first, I go second. Like, <laughs> what are you trying to do? Yeah, yo, so we're, uh, thank you Shane for the six, dude. We're randomizing the draft order for WBE and I wanted to make sure someone was watching me randomize it so that way no one could be like that I rigged it. You know, if, if I randomize the draft order and I end up first, someone's gonna say I rigged it, right? So I, I just made sure I had someone witnessing it. So I DM Joey, I'm like, yo, what spot you want in the draft? <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna I, randomize I, it together, I dude. I DM him the same thing, like, immediately. It's so funny, dude. Oh man! Obviously, we didn't do that. Uh, I yeah, I'm number 26, you're guys. Like, you're like <laughs> 26. I... You're in the you're in the bottom barrel over there, dude. Enjoy <laughs> enjoy drafting round one. Uh, you know who even knows the city or something, right? <laughs> going deep, dude. You might you might just grab Dreadmaw at this point. Like that might be your best bet. <laughs> just just <laughs> grab it for next season, dude. Franchising. Bro, if I'm allowed in WBE next season, can we do that? Honestly. I was talking with like Gator and I was like, bro, I only want new Pokemon <laughs> for Sword and Shield. Yeah, so That's all I want. The way I'm it's going to work, dude, is, is, is however, however much you, uh, you you put to the league, you know, your buy-in, that, oh. that allows you to franchise uh, higher tier. <laughs> so it's a bid system, right? So if, if someone comes in and says, all right, I'm going to put I'm gonna put 100 bucks in, you know, if, if the next guy goes, I'll put 150 and they get the first pick. Like they, oh, okay. they get Tapu Coco, you know, they get Dreadnought. They get dreadnought, dude. Bro, they could take Tapu Koko, Landers, Mew, Celestilla. I just want it. I want it. Be I think it'd be interesting to have a draft league based on the regional Pokedex, because you know how like in the beginning it's usually oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. catch this type of mons, and then after you can catch the rest. I think that'd be pretty cool. That's it. I'm ready, man. I'm ready for the new the new Pokemon for the Gala region. They, I I just feel like overall a big home run today with all yep. these Pokemon, man. So good, dude. So good. I can't wait for to see this page fill up as the as the months. I know, go on, right? Too. I know. Like we got eight right now. This isn't even including the legendaries. I love how we don't know the legendary types. Like we don't even know. We don't even know the legendary types, dude. Like I mean, steel, right? I don't We're know. Assuming... I mean, are they steel? Come on. I don't know, man. What it's a think, sword guys? and a shield. Come on, man. They could be wooden sword and shield, though. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe, man. Maybe, I was thinking like, yeah, I was thinking steel fighting for the Keldeo on the left, and then for the Solgaleo on the right, maybe like steel psychic. All whatever, right. like what, whatever defensive typing, what do you consider like a defensive type? Steel. <laughs> What's the second there? I think they might be poison type, dude. Bro, see, I wouldn't be against steel poison. Yeah, it is awesome. I wouldn't be against Steel Poison, but honestly, they both look like Steel. I don't know, man. I think those could be wooden swords. I'm just saying. What was what was that one leak that we did like five months ago that talked about the legendaries? What did I, it say? I was, that was one of my things that I wanted to do was go through all the um, all the like leaks and riddles and stuff that I posted over the last few months and see if anything lines up. Because it should be pretty clear. Like, if you see a raven, a little turtle, a sheep, you know, some little puffball thing. And then, you know, like, I feel like you could easily, you know, look back and just kind of compare and see, you know, what the deal is. For sure. So that's like on my list of things to do. Like compare, I, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. Yeah. Like, like watching that. So upload it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see it. Yeah. I'm going to definitely kind of dig back through and see. It's just crazy. Like if that leak was legit, which uh, let me, let me see if I can pull that leak up guys. Um, See, we'll pull it up for you guys so we can chat about it real quick before we kind of wrap up this discussion here. Uh, I had it posted, like, sent a bunch of times, so I should be able to snag it again here. It's going to be a little little ugly, but I'll just snag it from this guy because he had dark mode on, so might as well. Right, let's see here. Bam. All Peace. right, so this is it. I'll try to read it. So this is, uh, for those who didn't see the leak, I got a video about it on my channel. I go a little bit more in depth, but uh, basically the idea is this guy posted this on the 23rd of uh, May, which was about two weeks ago. And posted this information. It has been verified at this point, as far as I know, that it, it's legit. So these are some serious spoilers. So if you don't want them, uh, you might want to mute. But um, this says that the rival's named Hop, but you'll also be facing against Beatty and Marnie. So Hop is correct. That is our rival. We don't know who Beatty and Marnie is, but that could just be friends that you we just haven't been introduced to. Uh, Team Yell is the gang in this game. Uh, they're 
they're well-meaning fans of Marnie causing trouble. So I guess Marnie might be famous and then this group of people are like big fans of this individual. I don't know. To do the gym challenge, you have to get an endorsement. So you get endorsement from different people. You'll probably just be able to get your endorsement from, you know, the professor or who knows, maybe maybe your dad is a gym leader. Who knows, right? Um, this is saying Eternatus is the evil legendary. So there's a there's an evil legendary. The other legendary is a wolf who has a shield main or hold a sword like a great wolf. So this is saying that that essentially it's one Pokemon, but they have two different kind of forms, yeah, maybe. forms essentially. Uh, Dynamaxing. This is like how how do you guess the name Dynamax? You know what I mean? Yeah. Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing or Gigantamaxing are new dynamics that will supersize Pokemon in specific areas. Gigantamaxing is different from Dynamaxing as it changes what the Pokemon looks like. So Meowth looks like a long cat. Labras gets layers of musical bars on its shell and musical notes. Pikachu looks like a retro fat Pikachu. So this almost is kind of like it looks like it could be like some sort of mega evolving type of mechanic. Um, so very Gigantamaxing. Sonya is Leon's former rival and it does say on the Pokemon website that Sonya was friends with Leon. Um, who's researching the Dynamax phenomenon at the behest of her grandmother who is the professor of the game. I mean, dude, like this guy didn't guess this, right? Um, some Pokemon like Farfetch get regional evolutions. Surfetched. Loving it. And Meowth looks like a ball of spiky gray fur. So this is indicating that there's some sort of Galarian form slash new evos of old Pokemon slash, you know. Uh, so like, so Meowth is interesting because cats definitely do change based on where they are. Like, so I wouldn't count it out just because it already has an Alolan form too. Yeah, why not give it a Galarian form? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. What it's if, also what an if iconic Executor Pokemon. Executor is like not short, but not tall. It's like in the middle, dude. Dude, it might be dying because of all the pollution and <laughs> um, <laughs> that side. Yeah. Squovet and Greedunt are chipmunk Pokemon who hide uh, in berry trees, attack randomly. If you shake too many berries, you lose half your berries that they dropped. Very interesting. That could be the little dude on the uh, on the shirts. It says chipmunk. Could be like a squirrel. The fourth gym is the first fairy type gym. So this is actually wrong, but this person might not have known that there was a fairy type gym. Um, but I thought I, I swear there was a fairy type gym. Yeah, there was. Uh, it's in X and Y. There's a fairy type gym. That's what I'm yeah. saying. This says that it's the first fairy type, but it's obviously not. And then they guessed Milo, Nessa, and Kabu are the first gyms. Milo is the name of the grass gym leader, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So this guy knew the name of the grass gym leader. So Nessa and Kabu are the next two gym leaders, and then the fourth one is Fairy. But again, I guess this only lines up if if we think that the grass gym isn't the first gym. But maybe it is the first gym, and you just you know you just have to get a little bit through the game to get to the first gym. Don't um, mind that. Before fighting the gym battles, you have to create uh, complete gym challenges. Milo has you herding sheep Pokemon named Wooloo. <laughs> uh, Pamper, an electric Corgi Pokemon, will startle them and send them rolling elsewhere. Very very interesting. Uh, do you think Gossifleur is the chili pepper from the past leaks? No. And do I think the numbers on the jerseys are the numbers of battles lost? Absolutely not. Um, the numbers on the jerseys are definitely indicative of dates. Uh, Bro, if Milo lost 831 battles, I, know, I don't think he shouldn't be he a should... gym leader anymore. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, put, someone put him out. Yeah. Um, so this is interesting. It talks about Wooloo, and then it talks about an electric Corgi Pokemon, which obviously people want a Corgi so badly. Ness has you running through a maze where water blocks the way, and then Kabu requires you to catch Pokemon and get five points. You have to be in a party battle with another trainer who's also trying to catch it. So this could be, you know, uh, you, there's like you're in a cave with another dude. You know what I mean? Like it could just be that there's another Pokemon. So um, there's a transit system. You have to go through the wild area at times. This is saying like the trains. An open world biome that has a weather system. A little pockets where wild Pokemon Dynamax have to be beaten for a person yeah, raid. Four person. Yeah. Uh, you will randomly see nearby players and interact with them and get their lead cards and items. Obviously, this is exactly dead on. Yeah. Uh, I, I wonder if it's going to have like an online system where like the people you see also randomly in the open world are actual players. Ooh. That their data from the internet was gathered. For my 20 bucks a year, it should be. That's it, dude. Um <laughs> Pokemon will not walk beside you in the overall map. Oh, camping is how you play with Pokemon now. There is a screenshot. I talked about this in my video that uh, you can see the Pokemon Amiya refresh kind of screen. And Sobble, right behind Sobble is actually a camping tent. So, very interesting. 
Um, Score Bunny will have fighting mute moves, but is pure fighter. So, so maybe this I is a typo and it's pure fire. It gets fighting moves, but it's pure fire. Is that, that a typo? That, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like it's, I mean, it has to be pure fire. I mean, it wouldn't change. It's Score Bunny. I don't know. Yeah, it becomes a Raboot, but I don't remember the final evolution except that it looks like a fighter. It looks humanoid. So, interesting. I mean, it makes sense. It's a, it's a, it's a football player. Sobble so becomes I mean, Siz Sizzle, Sizzle, and then Sizzle. Inteleon, a chameleon with a spy theme. Very cool. Believable, right? Yeah. And then Grookey ends up as a giant gorilla that beats a wood drum to attack. <laughs> um... There's a lot of missing. I wasn't planning on leaking until now. I'm angry, upset, and while I liked what I saw, I didn't get too far. And then the why best. Is he, Pokemon... Why did he play? He's angry and upset. I don't get that part either. Like, why are you angry? Is that, and a, upset? Is that a riddle? I don't know. Why are you angry and upset, dude? Like, what's going on? You're leaking this info. You got to play it before me. Like, why are you angry and upset? Mm -hmm. Um. And the best Pokemon so far is the Blue Seagull, who, when it dives, it either gets a Barracuda in its mouth or a Pikachu, when it launches at its enemy. Which that, 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 I don't get I don't get that like how is a seagull finding Pikachu's yeah I don't either dude that's confusing but I mean so much of this is true like I don't know how you can write this off like how could this yeah. guy have guessed all this stuff right you can't you can't possibly guess all these things uh, but he that has some inside of me dude I was saying bro what if this is just Pokemon and they just mixed in some flavor with actually what's real dude I don't know, man. That's that's like conspiracy theory to the max, dude. Yo, one day I'm gonna find out when they care about me. I'm gonna talk to them. They don't care about any of us, Joey. <laughs> Stop. I know. <laughs> I hate to know. be that guy. Um, but yeah, this is the leak everyone's talking about. Uh, like I said, I got a video about it on YouTube if you want to check it out. Um, shameless plug, you know. But <laughs> yeah, dude. So that's that's that, man. I think that's that's all the discussion, Joey. I don't know anything yeah, else. Thank you, you uh, to, so uh, much for having me, bro. Yeah, dude. Anything else you wanted to chat about or, or talk about or anything? Um, honestly, I'm just really excited. I I do hope that, like I said, that timer that they were showing there was only for battle spot, and that Wi-Fi battles can have a bigger timer. Twenty minutes is definitely not enough. Um, a little bit iffy on Dynamaxing when it comes to competitive, but if it replaces Z moves and Megas, I'd be okay with it because that's one less, like two less things I have to fight. And uh, big big fan of what was revealed today in terms of like the Pokemon. It definitely. I'm, I'm I'm definitely happy. Like I'm content in terms of it. Oh yeah, for sure. I, I tend to agree. I, I was really happy with everything we got today. I think we just like we hit everything we needed to hit, dude. Like I didn't need anything else. Like I'm good. I'm good for now. I'm excited to keep you know hearing things out and seeing what happens over the next couple weeks. E3 could be big. I don't know. But um, guys, big shout out to my man Joey for joining us on the call today and just I talking Sword and Shield. Yeah um joey's actually again to come coming at my house he's gonna be at my house on saturday and sunday as we are doing the pokemon wbe draft stream exclamation point wbe in the chat if you want to check that out the trailer but joey i'm excited for you to come hang out please guys go show some love to joey on his youtube channel exclamation point pokey aim in the chat go drop him a subscription let me link you guys in case you guys don't want to type in the command but uh joey it was wonderful man no, legit, and I'm, like I said, I'm, like you said, I'm super excited to hang out. We've been trying to do it for years. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna work together, and hopefully have some fun as well. Eat some good food, and all that stuff. I get to meet Dallas. You get to meet my That's daughter gonna be too. Cool. Yeah, that. Has that, she man. said any words? Uh, she'll be saying Joey, free sex. That, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm about to say. Like, bro, if she, if she, don't be <laughs> mad if she, she says she Joey. Doesn't talk yet. She doesn't talk yet. Don't be mad if the first word is Joey. It better not be. I have a way with kids. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Thank you so much for having me, man. Hey, dude, I'll see I'll you, catch you later, man. Thanks for chatting. Yep. Anytime. Peace. Peace out, bro.